Hi everybody, this is Deanne with Crafting with D or crafty1.blogspot.com. Um, excuse my voice, I seem to not be getting along well with my rub and buff. It's, the fumes are bothering me a little bit, so take note if you have asthma problems or anything like that. Because <laughs> um, this is really not agreeing with me. <laughs> uh, but anyways, this is what we're making today. Um, this is my first tutorial, so I hope I do okay. It's This is an ornament. It's a little big, but big is good sometimes. <laughs> um, it's from my swap partner on minialbumscraps.ning.com. And I showed some of my friends, and they were like, you know, interested in seeing how I made it. Um, so that is the version I made for my swap partner. She likes snowflakes and snowmen so I went with that theme and um, can you guys see it it's it's three it's layered there's three layers to it um, so I'm going to show you how to make the template and then put one together with you so <clears throat> here we go <laughs> hopefully I don't lose my voice completely <laughs> Uh, what I did was I had a piece of, I had several pieces of this cardstock left. Or actually it's, it's lightweight and matte board. And from another project I was doing. So what I did was I made a rectangle. It is four by three. And then I made like a triangle. Um, just whatever looks good with it, any shape. Mine's not even per a perfect triangle. I kind of like that wonky look. <laughs> so that's, that's that. And then I took a pencil. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I laid it down, the rectangle down on a piece of the mat board. Or whatever this is. <laughs> And then I laid, well actually I laid this down first, the triangle. And then what I did was I took this up about uh, a half an inch. I laid it on there and then I traced the whole thing. The pencil. And this will give you all three of your pieces that you need. For the template it's a three three part template and when you take it off it looks like this and then you cut it out and i added i just kind of drew on an extra little you know not so straight chimney thing and when i cut it out i made sure i cut that out too so that's what it looks like and then i started tracing um different papers i used um I already have one started. I went ahead and did the base cover or the, the base of it. It's, um, I, I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> that goes on the top layer. <laughs> so that'll be my inside piece. So that's that. And the paper I'm using today, I wanted to go with more festive colors, bright and cheery. Um, so I got this new stack. It's called the Mrs. Claus Kitchen Stack. It's really cool, you guys. It's made from die cuts with a view. I got it at Joanne's. And it just has the coolest paper. It has like little, so you can do like little recipe books, which is what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. It's all glittery. Let's see, some greens. a lot of different papers but I found several that although this isn't a here's some look it has recipes on it already that's pretty cool <laughs> but I found some of these really pretty shimmery papers and um, oh that's pretty too I didn't grab that one <laughs> but there's all different this is my favorite I didn't use it because I'm using it on a a couple minis that I'm making. There's only two sheets in each, two sheets of each. <laughs> so that's the paper I'm using, the, the Mrs. Claus kitchen stack. 
And these are the papers that I chose. I already covered the light green is my my base one. And then I'm going to use this on the roof. I uh not sure what section yet. I'm thinking this red, it looks like an awning already. It already has the pretty cool cuts there. And then I have these two pieces that I'm going to use, one for the, the rope, uh, this template, and the other one for this template, whichever. I think I'm going to go with the, the base, the, the main part of the house, with this green because I have a lot of red flowers that I'm going to use and I think it would show up better on the green. It might get a little more lost on the, the red. Hmm. Of course, that's really pretty though. Oh, let me see. <laughs> I thought I had it figured out. I had this, I made one of these. I want to use that too. Yeah, maybe it does look okay with the red. And then I have some green shimmery things I want to use. Let's see. Hmm. Nope, we're going to use the red for it. <laughs> because I really want to use those green shimmery things that I bought on clearance and, you know, I have like several of them. <laughs> so I want to use them up. So the first thing you'll do is once you make your template, you will trace it on a piece of this lightweight cardstock. You can use cereal boxes or, you know, ego boxes, whatever boxes you have. You don't have to use this. And if it doesn't feel heavy enough for you, you can double double up on it, glue two pieces together. Um, but we're putting three layers on, so it's pretty, it becomes pretty sturdy. So you'll do that first, and I already have mine done here. <clears throat> Let me see if I can zoom in a little more so you can see what I'm doing. Is that good? No, that might be too close now. <laughs> um, all right, so you do that, glue it on, cut it out, and then you're going to take your next piece, two pieces, and trace them and your templates. Who knew rub and buff could do that to my throat? <laughs> I mean, I do get asthmatic bronchitis, but it's really strong stuff. <laughs> or maybe it's because it's so old. I've had it for a long time. That might be why it smells so strong. <laughs> All right, now we're going to cut these out um, using my exacto knife. And these don't have to be perfect. Um, just have fun with it. See, look, I'm off on my, my lines, not on the line, but it doesn't matter because, you know, it's just a little house. It's going to be covered with so many layers of paper. It's, I like that look. So there's the top, and then here is the body of the house. Let's get that cut. Now we're going to glue them down to our papers. We decided decided to use the green on the how on this part on the roof. So I'm going to use my beacons, uh, three in one craft glue. Uh, I I usually use the other, but I found that this gives me a little more time. Oops, uh -oh. <laughs> to moose to wiggle it around if I don't get it on perfect. So. That's what I've been using. We could just kind of wipe away the excess. And then take your bone folder and squish it out. And you want to let it set up for a few minutes. 
go ahead and do the red part, the body of it now. So pretty. Wish you could see the shimmer. It's very, oh yeah, there we go. It's very shimmery. I likey. And then we'll take the template and cut it out. Oh wait, actually we're gonna glue the piece on that we cut out. <laughs> You can take this all the way to the edge of it, so you only have to make two cuts. But I didn't want to make a mess on my um, my cutting mat because <laughs> it oozes out a little bit when you take the bone folder. So I uh, took it in a little bit. But if you don't want to waste paper, you can put it down with um, your the the tape dispenser things that everybody uses. Um, I forget what it's called. <laughs> you can use tape, you can square tape, you can use any kind of red line tape. Um, glue it down however you want. I wouldn't use hot glue on this, although I do love my hot glue. Um, just because uh, I don't know if it will give you a smooth enough finish. that and we'll cut this piece so this is a perfect example of do as I say not as I do <laughs> you really want to let the glue set up you can take a heat gun and hit it with the heat to make it dry faster because you can take a chance on when you cut it tearing the paper if the glue is still too wet Oops looking out so far. Of course I say that now. <laughs> okay. And when I get, I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but if I get glue on the tip of my blade, I just take my emery board and kind of follow it. <laughs> follow the size and it helps get it off. Just. And then you have your pieces. Um, I don't know if I should try the rub and buff again. Uh, I really want to use it because it's pretty. <laughs> but, uh, hmm, do I dare? <laughs> All right, let's just do it. No, I better not. I don't want to lose my voice today. I'll just use my distressing ink and distress all the edges. And you want to cover both sides of the the base of your house, the bottom layer, because you know it's it's an ornament, so you'll be able to see it on the the back, and you can decorate the back like I did on this one. Um, just put some trees on it and fun. So you can do whatever you want. You can make it a two-sided house if you want to do two different. Um, do the opposite color combination on the other side. That might be fun. <laughs> It's a little more work, but if it's something that's going to hang and you're going to see both sides a lot, it would be nice. It would be cool to do that way. So that is my base, and I'm going to have it going with this on the inside so I can cover up my boo-boo. <laughs> and then I just want to take my, um, my emery board and just lightly sand the edges. This helps get any loose goobers, <laughs> glue goobers, and it also helps push the, the paper down on the edges more. It just seems to give it a really good edging when you go in a downward motion. And it's really good because it 
if it has a white core, your paper, um, it helps the uh, distressing show up better. Okay, now I'll ink it. Oops. I'm using um, Walnut Stain. Oops. I will figure this camera out eventually. <laughs> Just a little bit. I really wanted to use the Rub and Buff, but I don't like what it did to me. <laughs> Maybe if I'm outside, I'll do it. Use it. Okay. Now the next part, I punched out whole um, two squares for the windows. Um, it's really hard to get my paper puncher. It's a really old punch that I have, a square, I'm not even sure what size it is, what, what brand, Pitcher Punch is what it's called. If you have a better way to cut your windows out, you should do it. <laughs> but I just kind of line up where I want them to go. And you got to do it several times. Oh, this isn't even... I might not even work with this paper. Nope. <laughs> All right, well, uh-oh, I really got it stuck now. There we go. <laughs> hmm. Well, it gives me the shape anyways. <laughs> I'll go ahead and do this side too. Looks about right. All right, we don't want to break our punches. So now I can take the rest. Uh-oh, 